ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஹாரி ஓம் குட் ஈவினிங் நமஸ்தே வெல்கம் டு அவர் மார்க் எக்ஸாம் ஃபார் வைசிபி லெவல் டு மினிஸ்டர் ஆஃப் ஆயுஷ் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா யோகா சர்டிபிகேஷன் ஓகே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் காலம் இஸ் த ப்ரேயர் சம் எக்ஸாமினர்ஸ் வில் ஆஸ்க் Uh, recite a smart small prayer some examiner will ask chant three times omkara like that okay 99% of examiners will ask this uh, recite a smart and small prayer okay yogena chitta sepadena vacha or om sahana bhavatu or you can take any guru mantra or you can take any vigneshwar mantra any your choice <laughs> madam 10 marks next topic <laughs> madam the examiner will ask the first question what are the shat kriyas what are the shat kriyas what are the main purpose of the shat kriyas main purpose is balance the vata pitta kapha okay uh, what are the shat kriyas you can teach from here forehead frontal lobe kapala bhati kapala bhati eyes tataka next nose neti next mouth dauti okay next abdomen navuli next uh, large intestine basti purpose of the shat kriyas internal purification techniques understand okay. internal purification techniques okay. right yes. uh, this is the question from the shat kriyas uh, as per our syllabus what are the shat kriyas kapala bhati uh, jalaneti sutra neti and vamana dauti some examiner will ask trataka also you can say so uh, sir trataka is in not in our syllabus you can say okay, okay. mainly kapala bhati uh, jalaneti sutra neti vamana dauti mm. right so these are the uh, kriyas as per our syllabus then next exam we will ask the question just to demonstrate the kapala bhati or or just explain the procedure of the jalaneti or explain jalaneti explain the procedure of the sutra neti or explain the procedure of the bhavana dauti right then after the examiner will ask for example you are demonstrating kapala bhati after the examiner will ask what are the benefits of the kapala bhati what are the contraindications of the kap- kapala bhati right i have one more question from the examiner by practicing shat kriyas which areas purified which areas purified just show me locations the examiner will ask show me the locations okay so kapala bhati frontal lobe or upper respiratory tract rataka eyes neti nostrils yes okay dauti upper gastrointestinal tract leda or abdomen navuli abdominal recti muscles pasti large intestine like that okay so how many marks you don't know the marks the examiner will ask this type of questions ha huh? 
So for the shatter, he has 30 marks. 30 marks. Okay. So prayer 10 marks, the shatter has 30 marks over. Simple questions, no need to worry. Right? Now, next is Pukshma Vayam. Parasthula Vayam. Knowledge question. So, first skill. Skill means what you have to demonstrate. You have to demonstrate. Okay. Skill. What are the questions? Griva uh, Shakti Vikataka. Neck exercise. Griva Shakti Vikataka. Neck exercise. One, two, three, four. Okay. Next. Bujavali Shakti Vikasaka, shoulder movement. Shoulder movement. Now, Katishakti Vikasaka, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means trunk movement. That means trunk movement. Next, Janga Shakti Vikasaka, knee movements. Knee movements. Now, Pada Mula Shakti Vikasaka, ankle movement. <laughs> These are the five Sukshma Vyayam. Sukshma Vyayam. Maxim, the examiner will ask in English, show me trunk exercise, or show me neck exercise, or show me knee exercise. Like that. Okay? And Stula Vyayam. So as per our syllabus, Stula Vyayam, Sarvanga Pushti is there five types of exercises already I explained. And Rudgati. Uh, Rudgati means engine doubt. That is one type of jogging. You know? So these <laughs> all are the Sukshma Vyayama Sula Vyayama. Yes. The main question. Sukshma Vyayama and Stola Vyayama. What is the difference between Sukshma Vyayama and Stola Vyayama? Question, main question. Knowledge question. Viva question. Okay. And what is the Sukshma Vyayama? Or uh, what is the Stola Vyayama? For the knowledge question. Who invented Sukshma Vyayama and Stola Vyayama? And who propagated social Vyayam and Stola Vyayam? These are the questions from the examiner. And also you demonstrated, for example, neck exercise you demonstrated. The examiner will ask what are the benefits through neck exercise. One or two, you can say. Or what are the contraindications of neck exercise. These are the questions from the Sukshma and Stola Vyaya. 10 plus 10, 20 marks. 10 marks is the Viva and 10 marks is the demonstration. Skill. Skill purpose you have to demonstrate. You have to demonstrate. Okay. So, first section of over madam. This is the first section. Uh, prayer, Sukshma Vyayam and Shat Kriyas. Guru Gar. Japan. Guru Gar. Hmm. Sukshma Vyayam and Stula Vyayam and Kedan. Sukshma Vyayam and Te, Okate Bagamu, Leda, Okate Prantamu Matreme, Daniki Masaja Utundi, Daniki Vyayam Amatundi, Stula Vyayam and Te, Okati Kanti, Ekua. Regions, Vokati Kante, Eko Bagalu, Leda more, more than one. Ante Botanevel Kanti, Talavaraki, Portiga, Masajai, Portiga Vyam Mamatundi. That is Stula Vyam. If you do neck exercise, trunk exercise, and Nangada, neck exercise only, it will be affected on la throat region, neck region. Understand? Ade Miru, Injan thou Jeshan Kundi, Injan thou Jeshne, Botanavel Kanchi, Talavaka, each and every part covered. Sarvanga Pushti Jeshan Kundi, Sarvanga Pushti. Sarvanga Pushti is also affected on the whole body. So, Sukshma Vayam and Stola Vayam difference is this one. Sukshma means 
micro circulation and stool means macro circulation macro circulation micro means little bit small area లేదా సూక్ష్మ రక్త నాళాల ద్వారా మనకి బ్లడ్ ఫ్లో ఉంటుంది అనమాట లేదా చిన్న ఏరియా మాత్రమే సూక్ష్మ వ్యాయామం కవర్ చేస్తుంది మ్యాక్రో సర్క్యులేషన్ అంటే సూక్ష్మ రక్త నాళాలతో పాటు మధ్య రకమైనటువంటి బ్లడ్ వెజల్స్ అండ్ బ్యాక్ బోన్ ఆల్సో ఎఫెక్టెడ్ ఫర్ ద సర్క్యులేషన్ ఓవర్ ఫస్ట్ సెక్షన్ ఓవర్ మేడం సూక్ష్మ మీకు నేను అడిగినట్టు అడగడం ఎగ్జామ్ లో ఇవి మీకు ఏదో ఫోన్ నంబర్ కవర్ చేసిన ఎగ్జామ్ నేను చెప్పే క్వశ్చన్స్ కంపల్సరీ మీకు అడిగి తీరుతాడు ఎగ్జామినర్ ఓకే ఫస్ట్ సెక్షన్ ఓవర్ నా సెకండ్ సెక్షన్ సూర్య నమస్కార్ అండ్ యోగాసన్ సూర్య నమస్కార్ అండ్ యోగాసన్ ఓకే స్కిల్ పార్ట్ స్కిల్ మీన్స్ డెమాన్స్ట్రేషన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డెమాన్స్ట్రేట్ ద ఎగ్జామినర్ విల్ ఆస్క్ వన్ రౌండ్ ఆఫ్ సూర్య నమస్కార్ డెమాన్స్ట్రేషన్ విత్ సైలెంట్ విత్ సైలెంట్ నో ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ ఓకే దెన్ ద ఎగ్జామినర్ విల్ ఆస్క్ త్రీ ఆఫ్ they should demonstrate which are your related to your syllabus for example tadasan you demonstrate vakrasan you demonstrate bhujangasan you demonstrate okay so we have sir 10 marks three asanas okay. 10 plus 10 plus 10 40 marks okay na then after knowledge question knowledge means viva questions ఓకే సూర్య నమస్కార్ సో టెల్ మీద సూర్య నమస్కార్ హౌ మెనీ ఆసనాస్ ఆర్ ఇన్వాల్వ్డ్ ఇన్ ద సూర్య నమస్కార్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద రిపీటెడ్ ఆసనాస్ ఇన్ సూర్య నమస్కార్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద బీజ మంత్రాస్ ఇన్ సూర్య నమస్కార్ ఆర్ టెల్ మీద ఫిజికల్ బెనిఫిట్స్ త్రూ ద సూర్య నమస్కార్ టెల్ మీద therapeutic benefits through surya namaskar or tell me the specific benefits of surya namaskar or what are the contraindications of surya namaskar or what are the breathing pattern in surya namaskar so these are the knowledge questions from the surya namaskar you can say one or two benefits no need to all Uh, you can say one or two contradictions. Surya Namaskar, knowledge of purpose also over. Now, already you have demonstrated three asanas. Thadasana, Vakrasana, Bhujangasana, you demonstrated. The examiner will ask the viva questions only the three asanas. What are the benefits of the Thadasana? You can teach one or two benefits through the Thadasana. and also examiner will ask sometimes what are the contraindication of tadasana you can teach one contraindication tadasana over vakrasana what are the benefits of the vakrasana one or two what are the contraindications of the vakrasana one or two what are the complementary asana of the vakrasana self complementary understand like that and bhujangasana what are the therapeutic benefits of the throw bhujangasana therapeutic benefits which diseases will cure okay cures the back pain removes the constipation improve the digestion control your type 2 diabetes all these are the therapeutic benefits you can teach one or two therapeutic benefits okay contraindications bhujangasana no contraindications like that section 2 over made surya namaskar and three asanas right in this column there will be a teaching skill is there some examiner will ask adita madam you are the teacher 
we are the students we don't know the yoga please teach one asana to me then you teach the one asana for the examiner 99% examiner will not ask some examiner will ask okay right so surya namaskar 10 plus 10 20 over three asanas 10 plus 10 plus 10 30 plus 30 60 over plus 10 marks teaching skill total 90 marks madam section 2 surya namaskar and yoga asana 90 Thank marks you. what are the asanas syllabus do you know already i explained the month standing asanas tadasana astotanasana rukshasana asana padichakrasana padichakrasana trikonasana pashakona pashakona sitting asana dandasana padmasana yoga mudrasana bhadrasana mandukasana sheshakasana purvatanasana vakrasana ardhamachandrasana gomukasana pachimottanasana ustrasana uttana mandukasana uh, parvatasana pronasana bhujangasana shalabhasana dhanurasana and supayanasana pavanamuktasana variations Uttana Padanasana, Adahalasana, Setu Bandasana, Sarala Machasana. All these are the asanas syllabus for your YCB level 2. My important note, the examiner will ask, just you demonstrate Vakrasana. You demonstrate Vakrasana. Okay, don't demonstrate Mandukasana. That is the minus for you. Right? That is important. Section 2 over. Uh, section 3, Pranayama, Mudra, Bandha, Meditation. So, in Section 3, the first column, Pranayama 1. What are the syllabus for Pranayama? Uh, abdominal breathing, thoracic breathing, clavicular breathing, full yogi breathing. All these four variations section. are called sectional breathing. Next, section. Anuloma, Viloma, Arun Adishuddhi Pranayama, Arun Adishwadana Pranayama. Ujjayi Pranayama, Sitali Pranayama, Chitkari Pranayama, Brahmari Pranayama. And concept of Puraka, Rechaka and Kumbhaka. Right? And Bandha Mudra, Jalandra Bandha, Udhyana Bandha, uh, Mula Bandha and Maha Bandha. In Mudra, Yoga Mudra, Maha Mudra and Viparita Karani Mudra. These are the syllabus for your pranayama, mudra, bandha, meditation. I am teaching one by one. Uh, pranayama column one, the examiner will ask, demonstrate, anulom vilom. Or demonstrate brahmari. Or demonstrate ujjayi. Or demonstrate shitali. Or demonstrate shitkari. Any one examiner will ask, just you demonstrate one with a silent demonstration. Right? You demonstrated 10 marks. Second pranayama is also, second column is also there, that is also 10 marks. The examiner will ask two types of pranayama. Okay, now. Next. In skill part, skill part already you demonstrated, for example, Anulom Vilom. The examiner will ask, what are the benefits of the unloam vilom? What are the contraindications of the unloam vilom? Confusion question, no contraindications. Right? Understand? Yes, sir. In the same way, second pranayama is also. For example, you demonstrated ujjayi pranayama. Okay. What is the meaning of the ujjayi? Uh, what are the benefits through Ujjayi? What are the contraindications through Ujjayi? Over. Skill part 10 plus 10, 20. Knowledge part 10 plus 10, 20. 40 marks over. And also teaching skill is there. 99% of the examiner will not ask teaching skill. Some examiner will ask. Madam, madam, please just you teach the unloam vilom to me. We don't know yoga we are the newly students the examiner will ask okay 
then you teach the unknown vilom you are the guru we are the students 50 marks madam pranayama 10 plus 10 skill part 20 knowledge part 10 plus 10 20 part 40 total 40 plus teaching skill 10 marks 50 over next mudra what is the meaning of the mudra mudra means seal mudra means seal there will be one sloka is there mudam dadati anandam iti mudra you should remember better to remember mudam dadati anandam iti mudra right below the bandha is there bandha kalam the main examiner will ask what is mudra what is bandha what is the meaning of mudra what is the meaning of bandha what is the difference between mudra and bandha these are the knowledge questions from the mudras and bandhas okay then the examiner will ask mudra hind mudras are there chin mudra chinmay mudra adi mudra brahma mudra like that uh, yoga mudra and viparita karana mudra maha mudra is there three mudras are there as per your syllabus maha mudra yoga mudra maha mudra and viparita karana mudra yoga mudra yoga mudra viparita karana mudra yoga mudra and guru karma you sit in Padmasana, take your hands back, uh -huh. catch the right wrist with the yeah. left palm, and inhale, bend back, exhale, bend forward. That is Yoga Mudra. Okay. Viparita Karni Mudra, already you know. Viparita Karni Mudra. Okay, some examiner will ask what are the hind gestures, hind mudras, chin mudra, tin maya mudra, adi mudra, baba mudra. Okay, so these are the uh, Syllabus modulus. Okay, for example, the examiner will ask just to demonstrate Maha Mudra, or just to demonstrate Yoga Mudra, or just to demonstrate Viparita Karana Mudra. Then, after knowledge purpose, the examiner will ask what are the benefits through Viparita Karana Mudra, or what are the contraindications through Viparita Karana Mudra, right? So, Yoga Mudra, Maha Mudra, and Viparita Karni Mudra is the Kaya Mudras, body gestures, right? Chin Mudra, Chin Maya Mudra, Adi Mudra, Brahma Mudra are the hind gestures. Bandha, so Bandha is the lock, saving up the energy in the particular part. We have the four Bandhas, Jailandara Bandha, Throat Lock. Udyana Bandha, Abdamen Lak, and Anas Lak, Mula Bandha. Combination of all these three Bandhas is called Maha Bandha. Okay. The examiner will ask, just to demonstrate Jalandara Bandha. Already you demonstrated. The knowledge question, Why what are the benefits? Already you demonstrated Jalandara Bandha. Then the examiner will ask the knowledge question, what are the benefits of Jalandara Bandha? Or what are the contraindications of the Jalandra Bandha? This is the knowledge purpose. Okay. So, Tanayama 1 over, Tanayama 2 over, Mudra over, Bandha over. Four columns. Four, 40 plus 40, 80 plus teaching skill. Teaching skill. Okay. 10 marks. 90 marks over. Now, the meditation. In the meditation, the examiner will ask, uh, what is dharana? What is dhyana? What is the difference between dharana and dhyana? Or what is yoga nidra? What is yoga nidra? And uh, what is pratyahara? What is pratyahara? Okay. And what is uh, mitahara? Like that. Okay, na? The examiner will ask in the meditation column, maximum, what is the dharana as per Patanjali Maharshi? Desha Bandha Chittasya Dharana. Desha Bandha Chittasya Dharana. Breaking concentration on the object. 
वाट इज दान एज पर् पतंजलि महर्षि तत्र प्रत्यय एकता ध्यान ओके कंटिन्यूस फोकसिंग कॉन्सट्रेशन आन द आबजेक्ट इज का मेडिटेशन ओके डिफरेंस इज वाट ब्रेकिंग कॉन्सट्रेशन इज द धारण अंड कंटिन्यूस कॉन्सट्रेशन इज द ध्यान ओके and sometimes a uh, examiner will ask what is the general sleeping and yoga nidra general nidra and yoga nidra yoga nidra is the conscious sleep sleep conscious sleeping ah uh, general sleeping is the without conscious, conscious sleep okay sometimes examiner will ask pratyahara pratyahara what is pratyahara so uh, controlling the sense of organs What is mitahara? Moderate diet. Easily digested, balanced vegetarian diet. You should fill with one by two stomach, one by four to four water, one by four to four air rotation. That is the mitahara. Like this. In the meditation column, there will be a knowledge of ten marks, teaching skill ten marks. Examiner will ask teaching skill. Just you. Teach the meditation two minutes to me. Ninety-nine percent examiner will not ask madam teaching skill. Ninety-nine percent, but here is column is there. The examiner will fill with the marks. No problem. Don't worry. Right? Uh, how many marks? Total forty forty ninety plus twenty. One ten marks. Section three one ten marks. Section four teaching practice very important. Uh... Uh, column. The examiner will ask one, give, gives the one topic, and just you talk two minutes continuation. For example, Ashtanga Yoga, or Patanjali Yoga, or Raja Yoga, or uh, Bhakti Yoga, or Jnana Yoga, or Karma Yoga, Karma. right? Or Pancha Vrittis, Five Vrittis. Five bhumis, or sadhaka tattva, or badhaka tattva, or nine abhustakils, or pancha kosha. Like this, the examiner will give one topic, and you should talk two minutes of continuation. If the examiner will ask, for example, the five urtis. You don't know the five rupees, please. I have no idea, sir. Please change the question. You can ask the examiner. Change the question. Just you teach ma. Just bhakti yoga. Bhakti yoga also you don't know. Again you say sorry, sir. I have no idea. Right? Uh, which topic is you like? You the examiner will ask. I like pancha kosha, sir. Okay, you can. Talk. Understand? That okay. is the examination pattern. This is a section four over ten plus ten twenty marks over. Okay. Next section five. Application of knowledge. Application of knowledge. In this application of uh, knowledge, the mostly examiner will ask, "What are the definitions of yoga?" What are the definitions of yoga? What are the definition of yoga as per Yoga Vasistha? What are the defini? What is the definition of yoga as per Patanjali Maharshi? What are the uh, definitions of yoga as per Bhagavad Gita? Our examiner will ask. Just you tell me five sutras from the Patanjali. Any three or any three, five, any five. Okay. Or ex some examiners will ask, what are the suggested asanas for menstrual disorders? Just tell me two or three. What are the suggested asanas for back pain? Mostly the examiner will ask, madam, definitions of yoga, Patanjali Yoga Sutras. Mostly. Secondary is this one. Some examiners will ask 
just you prepare one module for one hour for the children. Tell me, one hour, 10 minutes loosening, 5 minutes Surya Namaskar. Uh, eight, eight asanas, approximately it will take 20 minutes. Then relaxation technique. Then laughing one minute. Bhajan two minutes. Then after sitting pranayama 10 minutes. Then <laughs> oh, 10 minutes. No, one hour module for the young stars. Okay. Some examiner will ask madam. 99% most important questions are the definitions of yoga. Or Patanjali Yoga Sutras. Understand? Uh, one I forgot in the asana session. What is the asana as per Patanjali marks? Most important question in the asana session section. In pranayama also most important question. What is the meaning of prana plus ayama? Pranayama. Or what is the pranayama as per Patanjali Marsi, Tasmin Sati, Svasa Prashvasa, Yogur Gati, Vichedaha, Pranayam. You can teach. What is asana? Stiram Sukham asana. Sorry, sorry. Advanced. The examiner is asking most advanced. That means second word about asana. Prayatna Shaitilya Ananta Samapati One more most advanced. What is the another sutra in asana? Tato Dvanda Anabhigata. These are the three sutras explained Patanjali Maharshi. Okay. Examiner will yes. ask in the asana section or in the application knowledge also. Maximum, my guess, the definitions of yoga, most important, the Patanjali Yoga Sutras. And some examiners will ask 0.000001 person. You know any one uh, sloka from the Bhagavad Gita? To say an, any one sloka. Very uh, little, not most important. So these are the application knowledge. 10 plus 10, 20 marks. Now, mm -hmm. final column, field experience, certificate. Do you have any certification in yoga? To say, I, I have completed yoga instructor course from the Bangalore. Okay. Right? I have completed diploma through the Annamala University. Or I have completed BS in yoga. Like that. If you complete, you tell the certification name. Finally, how long you have been practicing yoga? Three years, four years, six years. Okay. Right? Um, after, before yoga and after yoga, what is your feeling? What is your experience? The examiner will ask. <coughs> okay? Why you are continue, continuing yoga? Why you are not doing... Uh, Walking, why are not doing a uh, gym? Why are gym. not going to the same? You are following yoga. Why? So, this is the examination pattern. Why is it table two? Understand? Uh, if you are uh, following Mauna, okay, you will fail. You are responding all the questions little bit. You are the pass at the present situation. Thank you so much, sir. Chala chala clear in the sir. The exam that the answer, sir. Mock exam, I know three days long to the nature of the sir. Attend the one, sir. Mock exam. Ever keep all of that. Ah, Mark exam attend a bandi problem led because experience was such that he was marked and was marked out. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.